I hope you have been enjoying my videos on cross-dressing and feminization. In the next video, Holly continues her adventures of shopping, buying new dresses, lingerie, heels, and more, becoming more of the woman she was always meant to be. Be sure to subscribe so that you do not miss out on the fun. Andrew had been keeping a secret for as long as he could remember. It wasn't something he talked about or even really understood at first, but every now and then, he felt an irresistible urge to slip into something feminine, to feel the smooth fabric of lingerie against his skin, and to transform into someone else entirely, someone he called Holly. One evening, while his girlfriend, Lisa, was out with friends, Andrew couldn't resist the pull any longer. He quietly crept into their shared bedroom, pulled out a silky pink slip and a pair of lace panties he had hidden away in a drawer, and began his private ritual. He felt calm, even empowered, as he adorned himself with the pieces that made him feel connected to his feminine side. He styled his hair as best he could, applied a little makeup, and for a brief moment, he was no longer Andrew. He was Holly, a woman full of grace and beauty. Just as he was about to savor the quiet joy of being Holly, the front door opened. Lisa's voice called out, Andrew, are you home? Panic shot through him. He scrambled to take off the clothes, but before he could, Lisa walked into the room, her eyes widening in shock. There he stood, frozen in the mirror, a blush creeping up his face as her gaze darted between him and the reflection of Holly. Well, what's going on? She asked, clearly startled. Andrew stammered, Lisa, I, I can explain. It's not what you think. But Lisa simply stared, her surprise softening into something else. Curiosity. Andrew, is this something you do often? Andrew lowered his head, ashamed. Sometimes. I'm sorry, I just, I like feeling like this. It's hard to explain, but it makes me feel good, like I'm truly myself when I dress like this. For a long moment, Lisa was quiet. Andrew braced himself for the worst, expecting anger or rejection. But then, to his surprise, Lisa stepped forward and gently touched his shoulder. Well, she said, her voice softer now, if this is part of you, why not go all the way? Let's really see, Holly. Andrew blinked, shocked. What do you mean? Lisa smiled mischievously. I mean, let's do it right. We'll go out. I'll take you to a salon for a full makeover. We'll shop for dresses, heels, the whole deal. And then, after all that, we're going out to dinner. What do you say? Andrew's heart raced with a mix of excitement and fear. He couldn't believe she was suggesting this. You really want to do that? Aren't you upset? Lisa shook her head. Honestly, I was shocked at first, but why should I be upset? If this makes you happy, I want to share it with you. Besides, she grinned, it might actually be fun. Andrew smiled nervously, still unsure. But Lisa's acceptance gave him the courage to nod. Okay, let's do it. The next morning, they found themselves in an upscale salon downtown. Lisa had booked an appointment for Holly, and as Andrew sat nervously in the stylist's chair, the transformation began. His hair was styled into soft waves, and the makeup artist expertly applied foundation, eyeshadow, and a perfectly winged liner that made his eyes pop. A soft pink lipstick brought out a feminine glow he never thought possible. By the time they were done, Andrew hardly recognized himself in the mirror. Holly was stunning. Lisa stood beside him, admiring the result. You look incredible, Holly. Now, let's get you a proper outfit. They headed to a nearby boutique where Lisa picked out several dresses, from sleek black numbers to floral summer frocks. Holly tried them all on, her nervousness slowly fading as she twirled in front of the mirror, loving the way the fabrics hugged her body. Eventually, they chose a beautiful knee-length dress in soft lavender that paired perfectly with the heels Lisa picked out. As they left the store, bags in hand, Holly felt a mix of exhilaration and nervousness. Are you sure about dinner? What if people stare? Lisa gave her a reassuring smile. Let them. You look beautiful, Holly. This is who you are tonight, and I'm right here with you. They walked into a chic restaurant that evening, arm in arm, Holly's heels clicking on the polished floor. The hostess greeted them without a second glance, seating them in a cozy booth by the window. 
Holly was still tense, expecting sideways glances or whispers, but none came. Instead, they were treated just like any other couple, and as the evening wore on, Holly's anxiety melted away. They laughed and chatted over wine, their connection deepening in a way that surprised them both. Lisa teased Holly about her newfound grace and heels, and Holly found herself relaxing more and more into the moment. What had started as a terrifying prospect had turned into something joyful, something freeing. As they left the restaurant, Lisa turned to Holly and said, You know, I had no idea what to expect today, but I'm really glad we did this. It was fun, and I've never seen you so happy. Holly smiled, feeling a deep sense of gratitude for Lisa's acceptance and support. I never thought I could share this part of myself with anyone, let alone with you. Lisa squeezed her hand. You don't have to hide who you are from me, Andrew, or Holly. I love both sides of you. Holly's heart swelled with emotion as they walked home together, the night cool and full of possibilities. What had begun as an accidental discovery had blossomed into something beautiful. For the first time in his life, Andrew, no, Holly, felt truly seen, accepted, and loved for exactly who he was. I hope you have been enjoying my stories of cross-dressing and feminization. If you like these stories, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on the cross-dressing fun. And always remember, when you stop trying to fit it, you start to stand out in the most beautiful way. Thanks again for watching.